Why did you want to tell this story about gun violence? Do you think it was sparked at all by the Black Lives Matter movement? Or how did this story come to you originally? I think a few years ago when uh, Vince Vaughn and Victoria Vaughn and Peter Billingsley at Wild West uh, teamed up with AT&T and Audience Network and reached out to us, they already were interested in doing a film that was going to follow police and residents in high crime areas. And in those initial conversations we had with them, I think all of our interest was to go beyond the often oversimplified portrayals in mainstream news media uh, and to dive into the complexity that's really inherent to the relationship between cops and residents. So our mission really from the onset was just to humanize both sides um, by filming with individuals on, on both sides of the proverbial train tracks. What do you think audiences will think about this when it's being told from four different perspectives? Do you think they're going to see it as it's justifying what someone else did? Or do you see it as kind of painting like a, a more accurate picture of what's going on? What do you think that's going to accomplish in terms of audience reception? So the film focuses on three residents living in East St. Louis, which is the highest homicide rate in the country the last few years in a row, as well as three police officers. Uh, our goal was not to side with either one. Uh, we didn't have an agenda as far as what the film's message was. Um, it's neither a smear piece nor a fluff piece. Uh, our hope was that we could just portray the reality of uh, what it's like to um, live and work and survive and police in a high crime area. Um, we used a cinema verite, fly on the wall approach uh, where we focus more on character journey. Uh, so our, our turning points are more emotional turning points rather than uh, political or cognitive turning points. And uh, the idea is that we would like to offer an opportunity to the viewer to be able to identify with these subjects on a human level and um, hopefully, ideally, uh, as a result, to start to question some of our own preconceptions about our class and cultural counterparts. When you say you had a fly-on-the-wall approach, do you mean that it was less question intensive and more focusing on their story without asking a series of questions the way most documentaries are kind of situated? Yeah, so instead of, instead of having uh, an easy answer or trying to prescribe something in a more essayistic fashion, uh, we went in with questions, not answers. And our goal was to let the subjects tell the story from their perspective, more ground up, more inside out. Uh, so that the viewer gets to sort of live in the shoes, as it were, of these residents and, and of these officers, and ideally start to see, uh, by humanizing both sides, start to see the similarities, that they're really not all that different from each other, and perhaps they're really not all that different from all the rest of us who don't live in these high crime areas.